The European Union's top trade chief is on an official visit to China and its rising trade tensions between the two economic superpowers. Trade Commissioner Valdis Dombrovskis arrived today for a four-day visit aimed at improving EU business access to Chinese markets. Alex Cardier reports from Brussels. The European Union's trade chief will be walking a difficult tightrope on this trip. On the one hand, he wants to convince Chinese leaders to make it easier for European companies to invest and integrate the Chinese market. EU business groups have been complaining for months that Chinese market access is unpredictable and overly bureaucratic. While China is a huge potential market, these barriers mean exports from Europe are still lagging. To give you a sense of scale, in 2022, the EU exported just 23% more to China than it did to Switzerland. Valdis Dombrovskis will also be eager to talk about rebalancing the EU-China trade relationship. From 2021 to 2022, Chinese exports to the EU increased by over 30% year on year, while EU exports to China grew only by 3%. For their part, Chinese officials will likely want to grill their EU counterpart on the union's plan to consider punitive tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles which are arriving on European markets. EV making giants like BYD and Geely have started to worry European car makers who warn that these brands could unfairly flood the EU market with cheap cars, threatening European jobs and businesses. The EU is also rushing to pass a law which would move it away from reliance on China for rare earths and critical raw materials, a move which Beijing described as naked protectionism. It will almost certainly be a challenging trip for the EU's trade chief, but despite these tensions, both sides will be acutely aware of their reliance on each other for trade, a reliance which could, maybe, nudge them both towards some kind of agreement. Alex Cadier, CNA, Brussels.